And welcome back to Good Morning Memphis. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy joins us live this morning as we continue to talk about the death of Tyree Nichols and the investigation. Good morning, uh, Attorney General. Uh, we're glad you're with us. When will the video be released? And this question too, how does releasing it compromise the investigation? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, Valerie, because I think the public needs to understand this. In any investigation like this, not just this one, but as a general matter, you want to conduct all your key witness interviews before the video is released. So, for example, a suspect may tailor their statements to law enforcement to what they saw on the video. We don't want that. And even a non-suspect witness may end up seeing the video and then testifying to what they remembered from the video as opposed to what they actually witnessed themselves. Either way, you don't want that to happen in any investigation, let alone this one. So it is common practice to get your key witness interviews done before you release video of this type. We are working as fast as possible to expedite this investigation, to get those key witness interviews done so we can release the video as soon as possible. That that makes a lot of sense, what you just described. Do you think it will be this week, or does it seem more likely next week is when we'll see that video? Well, what we've said publicly is we think it'll be either this week or next week, and that's the time frame that we're operating on. And I'm just going to assure you that it'll be as soon as, as we can do it. General Mulroy, what was your reaction when you saw the video? Well, I don't want to go into too much detail until the video becomes public, and I don't want to comment on the details of an active investigation. But um, I think it's fair to say that it was uh, distressing, in the least, to, uh, to see uh, what happened, and I have nothing but sympathy for the family of Tyree Nichols. Is the grand jury meeting today, and if it is, it, are, your, are your prosecutors presenting the case of these Memphis officers? Well, the, the, pro, the grand jury meets on a regular basis, a couple of times a week. Um, and I'm not ready to say yet we will be, or if we'll be presenting the case to the grand jury. That's the kind of comment on an active investigation that I don't think is prudent for me to talk about. I just can't say, and I can't stress this enough, we are moving as quickly as we can on this case. We understand that it's in the public interest for us to to, to get to the next stage of, uh, of this case as soon as possible. Uh, just stay tuned and be patient. All right, now, let me ask you this. Should they be charged with criminal charges, including murder? So again, that's the kind of thing that I'm not gonna go into right now in detail, but I would like to emphasize this. Because of the nature of this case of being an officer involved death, that's why I called the TBI in so that it would do an independent investigation. And it's also why I assigned that prosecutorial task of deciding whether there should be any charges filed and, and what kind of charges should be filed to my newly created justice review unit, which was designed to be independent from law enforcement and from the rest of the DA staff. Their primary job, of course, is to go back and see whether there have been wrongful convictions or wrongful sentences. But I've also given them this task in officer involved deaths to make an independent assessment of what kind of charges should be filed. So I think the public will have great confidence that there's an objective, independent evaluation going on. And like I said, we'll be making these decisions as soon as we can. And many are applauding your decision because you did call in the TBI immediately uh, after this situation happened. A lot of people are asking though, why did these officers stop Tyree Nichols in the first place? And once he was stopped, I know that the attorney for the family said, it was a DUI stop. Was there anything to support their supposition that he was under the influence? Well, again, I don't want to uh, comment uh, too much on the details of an ongoing investigation, but I will say this. What the, uh, has already been released publicly, I believe by the MPD, is uh, something that I won't contradict, that there was a traffic stop. Um, there was an initial encounter pursuant to a traffic stop. Um, then. Uh, some sort of interaction with police that led uh, Mr. Nichols to flee on foot. And then there was a second encounter, and the second encounter was where the serious injuries um, were, you know, were experienced by Mr. Nichols that led to his death. Yeah. Um, the family attorney also says that the officers, some of them at least, were part of OCU, the Organized Crime Unit. Why were they out there? Do you know? Well, I... I, I'm, again, I don't want to go into too much detail about the investigation, but I will tell you as a general matter, it's not uncommon 
that if uh, there's a traffic stop and then someone calls for backup, another unit, you know, like that unit might be nearby and might arrive on the scene. But beyond that, I don't want to go into too much detail. I know I'm pressing you. I know that you can't answer some of the questions I'm asking, but uh, we, we also have learned in the last 24 hours that a couple of uh, firefighters, EMTs, are relieved of duty. What was that situation? What can you tell us about their role? All I'll say right now, um, and I think, you know, very soon the video will be released and then everyone will be able to, um, you know, draw their own conclusions and judge for themselves. And I think a lot of the questions that you're asking will be answered uh, by the video. I can just say that it's it's not at all uncommon as a general matter that once there is an altercation, um, you know, involving law enforcement, that they will call in a uh, uh, fire department in case there's, you know, some sort of perceived need for medical attention. And, you know, I think um, that's all I can really say. You've seen the videos. Uh, you've talked with police. You've talked uh, with more. Um, Will there be any other officers or firefighters or anyone else relieved of duty or involved in this potentially? We've heard there might have been a sixth officer on the scene. So all of those kinds of things are committed to the discretion of the city of Memphis and their own internal disciplinary procedures. Um, our office has no role in that. Um, we are only tasked with deciding what, if anything, should be done in terms of criminal charges. So uh, it's really up to the city of Memphis to decide what kind of internal disciplinary procedures, if any, are warranted for any of the other city employees involved. Uh, you're the attorney general right now, but you've been a law professor for many, many years. In your estimation, does this warrant federal civil rights charges? Oh, I, I welcome the participation of our federal partners. I'm uh, working very closely with uh, U.S. Attorney Kevin Ritz. We're in constant communication. Uh, I do th I do welcome their participation. I think this is the kind of uh, incident that, you know, definitely should uh, and, you know, it warrants uh, a federal investigation. And, 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 and that's what we're hearing. That certainly could be part of the situation, too. Um, I know that you met with a family yesterday. What do you tell yes. family when, from all accounts, we're there's video that the family and the attorneys comparing to the Rodney King situation. What do you tell that family? Well, this is the worst part of any DA's job, meeting with the families of, uh, of persons who have been killed. And, you know, they had just seen the video for themselves uh, when I met with them. And, you know, all I could tell them is to express our sincere condolences, you know, to lose, um, a loved one is terrible to lose a child is even worse to lose a child under violent circumstances especially when um, you know law enforcement is involved um, is even worse beyond that and we just you know told them that we expressed our sympathy and that we were doing everything we could to work as quickly as possible and see that justice would be done in this case mm. do you think this is a case that law professors like you were will study in years ahead I think quite possibly, yes, um, I, I do. I think um, there there may be some, certainly we hope some lessons to be learned going forward. And, you know, perhaps it will lead to a broader conversation about, um, you know, the need for police reform and the, you know, the utility of, uh, of, of de-escalation training, things of that nature. Uh Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy, we appreciate you joining us this morning. I know you have a lot of pressing issues right now, but thank you for joining us right here. Thank you. Good morning, Memphis. And you know, here at Fox 13, we are committed to giving you both sides of the story. Just an hour ago, we spoke with the Nichols family attorney, Ben Crump, and we asked him what charges the officer should face. Here's what he said. There will be different charges. I think they would look at the actions of each individual officer and they were uh, accordingly charged the appropriate charges. Uh, will some of them be charged with some degree of uh, murder or homicide? I think they will. Uh, but again, we only got to see the video one time. We didn't get to be able to stop and analyze like we will once it's released have our um, experts be able to, to dissect the video, to look at blow by blow on the video, 
that is what will determine what charges will be levied, just as if it was any other citizen. Tire interview from this morning is available to watch on our website, fox13memphis.com. The interview with Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy will be up on the internet as, at the same location as soon as possible. And by the way, when we ask him again about when we might be able to see that video, he said they're working as quickly as possible. We'll tell you why he said they're delaying it uh, in just a few minutes. You're watching Good Morning Memphis.